what's going on everybody so today is the big day wait oh there she is there's a something wrong with this picture though why is the wife's car in the garage and the charger is sitting out there hmm well we're gonna have to fix that but first let's do a cold start on the Ford Now there is a difference between the wife's car and my car. Trash galore. A little dirty. My car's a heck of a lot cleaner. All right, cold start on the Ford. Oh yeah, listen to that dual exhaust. I think it sounds awesome. My wife and her music. Turn the volume off. All right, let's get the charger in the garage. Much better now. Charger's in the garage, Ford's in the driveway. Left myself plenty of room to work. But, as you can see, here we go. Getting ready to take the front bumper off. All right, guys, so, got the car jack out. Now, here's a top tip for you. And by the way, I did get that uh, jack at uh, uh, Harbor Freight, so it's actually a pretty nice jack. I think it only was like 200 bucks, so. If you guys are going to invest in a jack or floor jack, definitely get one of these. It's pretty nice. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. Never had any issues with it, except for the leaf that's stuck in there. Never had any issues with it. Um, everything works out really good with it. So, uh, top tip though, go back. Make sure when you're jacking up the front of your car that you put your parking brake on. So, make sure you guys do that before you jack up the front end of the car. All right, so the other side is off. As you can see, the car is very, very dirty, but there's one thing I did, um, and I always do, is I always leave the jack um, still jacked up a little bit, even though the jack stand is sitting on the jack stand. It's always nice to have that extra set of safety when you're working, especially if you're trying to work underneath your car. Now, the other thing I usually do, I'm not gonna do it today, but I usually put the tires underneath the car as well, just in case the, jack or the car decides to slide off the jack stands but I checked both of them they're looking pretty good they're looking pretty stable so now we're gonna go ahead and start working on removing the bumper and everything that we need so there's nothing better than your front bumper sitting on the dining room table I don't recommend this unless you put towels down if not you're probably gonna be sleeping on the couch my wife's pretty forgiving so don't forget you're gonna have to remove these clips up here at the very top in order to get it out and then these right here are where it slides into the front fender and then of course these are where your 10 millimeter bolts are going to go and then your other 10 millimeter bolt goes right there so one two three this one you're going to get from underneath the hood and these two you're going to have to rem uh, remove the fender well or get enough room in there so you guys can do it so right there what's going on everybody so as you can see this is part one of the uh grill install it was a great day today guys i was able to work in my garage it was a beautiful day out about 55 degrees had a lot of fun doing it on a scale of one to ten 10 being the hardest, 1 being the easiest. This was about a 5, maybe a 4. So even RT Life uh, can do it. I know how much he loves doing installs and, and rushes and all that kind of good stuff. So all that being said, guys, uh, it turned out awesome. You're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see the, the final project, uh, the final, or uh, just to see the results and see how it looks. And then you guys can comment and tell me what you guys think. 
So when I was doing my videoing today, um, I forgot some steps and, you know, a couple of times I think my butt ended up in the camera. Um, you know, when, as you guys know, if you're holding your camera or your phone and you're pointing, sometimes you don't exactly point out, you know, you don't get your finger where you're pointing at and all that kind of good stuff. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to walk you step by step through how to remove the front bumper and actually how to put it back on. Now I did, uh, do, I, I did look on YouTube prior to me doing this to see what I need to do because I've never done it before. There were some videos out there for a scat pack, nothing for an RT. So again, I don't know if there's any, there shouldn't be a whole lot of differences. When I watched their videos, there were things that I didn't see that I had to actually do. And maybe because they edited it out, whatever the case may be, I did not see that stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to do that stuff and exactly what to do. So with the, what I have, uh, the video wise, what I have, I'm going to put all that together and I'm going to show you again, I'm going to show you the tools and exactly step by step on how to do it. It's really, again, it's really not that hard. I was surprised on, you know, the, how easy it was. It took me about 45 minutes to take it off and about 45 minutes to put it on. And that doesn't include that. Uh, I actually did remove the front tires. Um, I put the car up on jack stands and removed the front tires. So as you guys can see from the video, but the grill is done. Everything is looking good. I'm pretty excited to show you guys that tomorrow. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is actually put the easy lip on. I didn't do that when I had the front bumper off, as you guys can see from the dining room table. I did not do the uh, easy lip um, just because uh, it didn't work out that way. I didn't want to get tore up while I was sitting on the front table. So I'm going to put that on tomorrow and I'll be able to show you guys a final, you know, a final result. Except for one thing I'm still working on and that's what went in the crosshairs spot. So... I'm going to do a little bit of work on that, but once I get that done, I'll be able to show you guys. So all that being said, I uh, hope you guys like this video um, and look forward to part two tomorrow. So I'll catch you on the next video.